What's up, everybody? It is episode 185 of Unlocking Your Inner Strength. Let me try to block the sun here. And today, what I wanted to go over was a story of how uh, I took a uh, situation in my life, turned lemons into lemonade. So I've told this story many times. Some of you uh, may not have heard it before. 2012, I had just come off of, um, well, I just resigned uh, earlier that year. Or excuse me, I hadn't resigned yet. This is why I resigned. But I had just come off pneumonia, real bad case of pneumonia, uh, like <clears throat> uh, really bad, you know, the kind that could kill you. So, I, I mean, I was wiped. And two weeks after that, I was playing basketball in the men's league running down the court. It's like 9.30 at night. Chasing actually one of my students' fathers. He was on a fast break, so I'm taking off after him. And boom, my knee, my left knee, uh, essentially just explodes. Uh, I mean, horrifying. I mean, grown men were running away, covering their eyes. So this is not an ACL tear or anything like that. I mean, my knee, my knee cap, if you can visualize that, was up in my quad, and you could see that all the way on the inside. X-rays are pretty freaky. I knew something was bad. Uh, I knew it was really bad. So the ambulance comes. They take me to uh, the ER up in Morristown. And, you know, just laying there, they gave me some morphine. Even in the field that I'm in, uh, I'd never heard of the, anybody really having this injury. The doc comes in and he says, you know, I think it's uh, you ruptured your patella tendon. I just started crying right on the spot because I just knew it was bad. <laughs> I didn't know much about that injury because it's not really a common thing, but I knew it was very bad. So, uh, you know, we left uh, scheduled surgery with Dr. Getcha, who did uh, wound up doing my other knee, which I'll tell you about a, a little later. And... I remember that whole first weekend though, cause I was on a Thursday night, just being in the funk, which was not like me. I mean, I was really down in the dumps. I just, I couldn't get my head around it. Um, I was a phys ed teacher. I had the gym, dual strength, right? And I was gonna be on crutches in a wheelchair for, for a significant amount of time, which was tough. And the, the more scary thing was I was doing all this research and I couldn't find anybody else or any information on this injury. So it was the unknown, it was very scary to me. Uh, you know, I read a few horror stories of it, and then I'm just saying, man, am I ever going to be able to walk without a limp again? All this stuff goes through your head, right? And then I snapped out of it. I said, you know what? I'm going to turn this into a positive. So uh, I probably have over 300 videos on my YouTube of patella tendon ruptures. I documented the whole thing. I said, you know, being that there's nothing out there, I'm going to write a book on this. And that's what I did. And the reason I thought of... That's me right there on the PT table back in the day. Um, a, a new shipment just came into the books. And I said, you know what? That, this is a good example of how you can take any situation and flip it. So that book, I took my experience and literally I've been able to sell this. Uh, I believe we've sold over 400 copies around the world, which is pretty cool. And it's helped a lot of people, pro athletes included, um, you know, I'm working on the second one. The second one I've been waiting to do after I did my second knee, the same exact injury, about two years after the first. Uh, patella tendon snapped in half, IT band snapped ligaments in each leg. Um, and at that point, that was kind of one of the emails I wrote last week was uh, going after the second one, Dr. Getcha felt terrible for me. I mean, it's a, it's a very strange, odd, rare injury. I have it done twice. You know, both knees, that that was pretty uh, crazy. But I looked at it as like, now I'm really going to be the expert on patella tendon ruptures. And that, that, I flipped the whole thing, right? In my mind, and I believe I'm the number one patella tendon rupture expert in the world with my background and having gone through this twice. So the second time, I'm sitting on the operating table just before I go out. And, and hey, Deb, how you doing? And just before I go uh, get put out, um, Dr. Getcha says, you know, I'm so, so sorry. I said, Dr. Getcha, it's all good, man. I said, we got this. <clears throat> it's uh, Everything's going to be fine. I know exactly what to do. And when I went for my follow-up about a week later, 
he, he was really intrigued by that. It, he just stuck in his head. He said he couldn't get out of his head that I would say that right about to go under the knife. And he said, what, what is, like, how do you think like that? And I said, well, you know, I've been through this before. I'm going to turn it into a positive. I said, I know exactly what to do now this time around. So he actually asked me to go speak to a group of surgeons about mindset because a lot of the patients struggle with mindset and coming off of these injuries. So, um, yeah, I was able to take that situation and really run with it and uh, help a lot of people, which is really cool. Really cool. Uh, just a couple weeks ago, I was talking to a former NFL player. Um, uh, two weeks ago, there was a former big-time college basketball player that was reaching out to me. So it's just been neat. Man. But my point is, you could take any situation and say, what's great about this? Where's the silver lining? So you see how this all ties into reframing. And being able to, you know, if you, I told a group of kids the other day, let's say you had the best painting in the world, whatever that painting is, and you just tape it to the wall. Now you take that painting and you put it on the wall, but you have it in a frame that's got gold and diamonds and it's just really nice looking. It's illuminated. That's reframing. The picture looks completely different just being in a new frame. We can reframe anything and we need to, to know this skill because our brains are Velcro for the negative. They're always uh, going to focus on a negative. That's a survival mechanism. It's there to serve us to focus on a negative, but we have to catch that and we have to be able to stop those and really um, discipline ourselves to focus on confidence, writing down our wins every day, reading something positive every day. We, we got to be able to do this so we can, um, you know, stop the negative in its tracks when it's not serving us because it's going to snowball. And when the negative thoughts start to snowball, that's where we run into trouble. That's where you know, you, you make a mountain out of a molehill, right? Uh, and that's not good. So that's that's an example of how I was able to take a very bad situation and turn it into a positive. And there's examples right now going on in your life that you can do the same thing with, I guarantee it. You just got to ask yourself, what's great about this? What can I learn from it? What am I going to do with that information? What's great about this? What did I learn from it? Or what can I learn from it? And what am I going to do with that information? So short episode, Thanksgiving week, hitting you up in the parking lot outside the coffee shop. Um, but I'll be back next week with some more. Keep it positive. Have a great Thanksgiving in case I don't make a video before then. And you all win the day. Peace.